Hello, my lovely mystical starlights. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mystical Mar. For those of you guys who do not know me, hello, hi, I'm Maria. Welcome to my channel. And hello to those of you guys who have recently subscribed, as well as those of you guys who have been with me since the very, very beginning. I'm very grateful, thankful, and blessed to be able to channel and to connect with you all here once more today within this Pick a Pile reading on what your intuition is trying to tell you. So we do have three piles to choose from today. I will get into the pile selection in just a little bit. But before I do, I do want to make an announcement that I am almost at 900 subscribers. Once I reach 900 subscribers here on my YouTube channel, I will be doing a personal reading giveaway of your choice. So do keep this in mind. Subscribe to my channel if you like my videos or if you like this video after listening to it. I also want to make an announcement that I am currently open for personal readings at this time. So for those of you guys who are wanting to book, all you have to do is send me an email. You can find my email within the description box here on this video. Once you send me an email, I will send you my services prices, policies, and disclaimers for your review. Once you read all that information over, send me an email back on what it is that you would like to book. It could be one reading, multiple readings, a bundle, if you'd like to book that as well, and I will get you scheduled in. I will assign you a booked reading date, and you will receive your reading anywhere from your booked reading date, going into seven days after, not including weekends or holidays, so do keep this in mind. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the pile selections. So for the piles, I do have some seashells that I have collected with my cousin last week. We did go to the beach. We had like a little picnic set up. It was really nice being outside. Speaking of being outside, today is Earth Day. So happy Earth Day. And if you do get a chance, go outside in nature this week and enjoy the beauty of the outside, the beauty of the trees, the beauty of the birds, the beauties of the plants, whatever is surrounding you. Make sure that you go and ground yourself in nature at a given point this week. So let's go ahead and get into the pile selections out of the shells that I have found. So for pile number one, I do have this clam shell right here. It is still intact, surprisingly. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I feel like I want to get crafty with these shells that I've collected. So for pile number one, we do have this oyster clam shell mussel shell i'm not really sure exactly what it is but this is the shell for pile number one and then for pile number two we have this clam shell this was a part of another shell it was a clam i believe so this is for pile number two this shell right here and then for pile number three, I do have this particular cone-like shell. It's different from the other two or way different from the other two in my opinion. So this is the shell for pile number three. So go ahead and choose whichever shell or seashells are calling you in and find the corresponding timestamp to the shell or shells you've chosen down below within the pinned comment section. So let's get into it. For those of you guys who have chosen pile number one with this shell right here, let's see what it is that your intuition is trying to tell you. So I am picking up here since you guys did choose the shell that is open. I am seeing here that some of you guys may need to be a little bit more on the hush when it comes to your plans, your goals, your ambitions at this time, or just when it comes to conversing, talking with other people, whether it's within one-on-one -on -one connections, within a group, I am picking up here that spirit could be telling you to talk a little bit less in regards to a particular aspect of life because there could be people that are wanting to take in information from you and use it in a more so negative way. So I am picking up here, your intuition could be trying to tell you that you need to keep it on the hush hush when it comes to particular connections within your life. For others of you guys here, it could be the opposite. Your intuition could be trying to tell you that you need to open up more. You need to be more open to connections, talking with people, conversing with people. So it's going to go either or way, depending on who is surrounding you and also what it is that we pick up from 
the tarot in just a little bit. For others of you guys here, I'm also picking up that there could be somebody that is just like for everyone around you. I am picking up here that whomever this is, they may not have the best morals or standards for themselves. And it's no judgment on my end. Of course, you guys, this is something that I am channeling straight through spirit at this time. So I am picking up here that somebody around you is very open to the outside world in which they don't have boundaries, especially energetic and physical boundaries. So you could need to be careful when connecting with somebody of this nature nature because you may get swept up in the energetic fields of other people and it's going to make you feel ungrounded it's going to make you feel scattered and it could even affect your mental your physical or your emotional health as well depending on who this person is i'm getting especially in terms of intimacy so please do be careful of that let's go ahead and get into the pile pile number one and see what spirit is highlighting through the tarot first so i do have the ace of pentacles coming up here i have the strength card coming out and the six of cups so i am picking up here there's definitely a masculine within your guys's life that is very nostalgic very reminiscent over you this could be somebody that you have turned your back to i am picking up here that this person is upset that they're more nostalgic about you they're more reminiscent about you and you're more so starting a new beginning within your life some of you guys could be working on your health regimens and routines i'm seeing somebody's back get more toned here i am picking up here for some of you guys this masculine could be into health regimens and routines fitness things of that nature i'm getting weightlifting here i am picking up here that this masculine could be pissed that you're looking good feeling good and you're doing good as i'm picking up here some of you guys could be coming into a new work path a new job a new business venture here and i'm getting here that they're salty that they're not a part of this new beginning they're they also could be salty that you are able to uplift yourself with your own strength, with grace even, after this person has caused some sort of havoc or chaos within your life here. So your intuition could be trying to tell you that this person is nostalgic over you, reminiscent over you. For some of you guys, if this is not a lover, this could be a brotherly figure, someone you consider like so. For some of you guys, your intuition is trying to tell you to get into your fitness grind here. Um, if you've been feeling like you need to target your back area, strengthen your back area, I am picking up here to go for it. I am seeing here also that there could be somebody here that is like the boy who cried wolf is what I am picking up here. Like there could be somebody also that is putting on some sort of facade or front that um, they are in pain or that they're going through something. But in reality, they're just trying to stop you from having a new beginning. So I am picking up here to be wary of that. This person could be looking for sympathy here. And I am picking up here that you were so sympathetic in the past to whomever this is to the point where you probably don't care or not that you don't care, but you would rather tend to your own self instead of depleting yourself for another person this time around, right? So that is what I'm seeing there. Leo placements could be a relevance for some of you guys. You are going to see some sort of difference if you follow your intuition and in going after some sort of health regimen and routine by Leo season of this year. There could be a masculine from a past from the past that is wanting to come in and they may come in by Leo season of this year. I am picking up here that for some of you guys, you could need a new if you've been wanting to change up like your hairstyle if you've been wanting to get to grow your hair to cut your hair whatever the case may be i am picking up here to go for it if you've been thinking about getting new products in order to promote hair growth i'm also picking up here to go for it there also could be a masculine that is modifying themselves in some sort of sense or way whether it's through their hair facial hair um whether it is through their fitness in order to get your attention at this time is what i am picking up from spirit they could also be flexing i am picking up here they could be flexing newer things that they are investing into newer materials items and it's all to get your attention is what i am picking up from spirit i'm also getting here that june birthdays could be a relevance here ages ending in a one or zero could be a relevance as well as somebody may have a one your age difference with or that you've known for those amount of years we also have the beauty card here so this is just a confirmation from spirit that somebody is definitely trying to get your attention at this time by posting certain things here by posting certain sexy images or photos or videos here is what I'm picking up but for a lot of you guys this is a masculine I'm picking up here this is a masculine that is coming off very arrogant very cocky very egotistical because I am picking up here that they're trying to get you to notice them I am picking up here as well for those of you guys who have been wanting to get into beauty related fields no matter what 
gender this is your cue to do so. I am picking up here. It could even be taking a course or study in terms of schooling when it comes to beauty related fields. I am seeing here that for some of you guys, your intuition can be trying to tell you to practice words of affirmation in the mirror in relation to your beauty. For others of you guys, there could be people spying on what type of beauty products that you use, um, what type of like hair products, skin products, makeup that you use here because they could want to copy your style or they could think that you're very beautiful, you're very handsome here, and they could want to obtain that same aura for themselves is what I'm picking up from Spirit. So it says, I'm beautiful even when I don't think it. I'm beautiful even when I don't see it. I'm beautiful no matter how many people don't say it. I'm beautiful and I don't even care if you know it. I'm beautiful, which is why I don't have to try so hard all the time to show it. So I'm picking up here that a masculine could be realizing that beauty in, in all really comes from within. So I'm picking up here that they could be going through some sort of ego death because they could have been trying to impress you with appearances or status or what it is that they have. And I'm picking up here that doesn't work on you. So this person could be trying to go back to the drawing board. And also when you think of the peacocks with the colorful feathers, those are the male peacocks. So for a lot of you guys here, this is a masculine. There could also be a masculine that acts like very snooty or they could act very above and I'm picking up here it's all because they have some sort of insecurity in terms of their appearance whether it may seem so or not with this card coming out. So we also have the broom card coming out here. Some of you guys are in need of saving up in order to invest into a new rented property space house here. I am picking up here. Some of you guys can need to move away from a masculine or a brotherly figure, fatherly figure, someone you consider like so here. It says new home, new attitude. And again, I feel like this card with new attitude coming out is just correlating to a masculine that, you know, thinks that they could act a certain way just because they've come into something new for themselves. They feel like they're above. They feel like they are on another level just because they've obtained something so they could treat you know, you or people around them in any just way. And that isn't the case. I feel like this person is getting some form of reality check here. I'm also getting here S names, P names, N names could be of relevance here. D names, B names, C names, first, middle, or last initials, O names as well. I'm also picking up here something about Austin McBroom. I'm picking up here the Ace family. Maybe your intuition is telling you something in regards to them or maybe you used to watch them or maybe the name Austin Catherine could be of relevance. Le Leilani could be of relevance as well. Doesn't have to be for everybody listening to this, but I am picking up those names. We also have the shark card, but it came out in the reverse. So it says, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. So I am picking up here. Your intuition could be trying to tell you that you need to save your money at this time. Um, for others of you guys, your intuition could be trying to tell you that a masculine has been you know, holding themselves back from coming towards you because I am picking up here. They could be going through something financially. They could have taken an L financially or I'm picking up here for some of you guys. They were messing with you. And now after the fact, they are taking an L financially here. For some of you guys, your intuition could be trying to tell you that either you or a son or a lover is needing to check in with their dental health here. I am picking up something in regards to dental health. We also have the dolphin card coming out. Somebody that could be a fisherman could be a relevance here or that likes to be on water. I'm also picking up here Miami could be a relevance here as well. Let's go ahead and read this card in the upright. It says financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So I am picking up here. There could be some sort of money that is on its way to you, but it may not be here just yet. Maybe it's going to come in more so when you're around water settings or scenes or when you see the symbology of the dolphin is what I am picking up. Somebody that could also like basketball could be a relevance for some of you guys. I am picking up here something in regards to sports. Somebody could lose money because they bet too much on sporting things is what I'm picking up here. That is also another message I am getting. We also have the, oh my gosh, I cannot even talk. We also have the photographer um, card coming out here. I'm picking up here F names, PH together within a name could be a relevance. SH together within a name could be a relevance as well. So I'm also getting here somebody like saying F when they're like looking at a picture or a photo or a video of you or when you don't look at their pictures or their photos or their videos here. I don't feel like you guys, I feel like you guys like have been picking up all this energy intuitive in terms of this masculine trying to get your attention, but I don't really feel like 
you care that much about what's going on with this masculine because I feel like a lot of you guys are just over it is what I'm picking up from spirit. I'm also getting something about back tattoos, lion tattoos, cat tattoos, tiger tattoos, or I'm picking up here that the symbology of the cat, the lion, the tiger could be coming out because you could be coming out very fierce. And I am getting here masculines from your past are noticing this fierce fierceness coming off of you here. So with the photograph card coming out, it says looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. So I'm picking up here that most definitely there is somebody from your past that is missing you, looking at photos of you here. Somebody that could be in the film, the media industry could be irrelevant. Some of you guys are meant to be in the film media industry. I'm also getting veterinarians. I am picking up here also um, film or photography in terms of animals, in terms of insects. I'm getting here somebody that could be into things of this nature. Let's see what else. I am picking up the zoo, going to the zoo, or maybe you used to go to the zoo with somebody in the past. Let's go ahead and get into some of these cards right here. It says, a bond will favor your attention. So I am picking up here with this card coming out that your intuition could be telling you that somebody likes blondes or somebody that has blonde hair could have a crush on you or could take a liking of you at this time. I also have a person in a comfortable position tries to protect you. So I am picking up here that a masculine can feel like you no longer have their back. Maybe this person was overindulgent in terms of food, beverages, alcohol, substances here, and they could be going off the rails here because you're no longer there to support them or uplift them here. For some of you guys here, your intuition could be trying to tell you to cut it down when it comes to some sort of intake here, substance, alcohol, whatever the case may be with this card coming out. Also, your intuition could be trying to tell you that certain things that you are putting in your body is throwing off of is throwing your energy off or this could be a masculine around you that has some sort of substance or addictive tendencies or traits also with this card coming out in the reverse it relates to the shell that you guys have chosen so i am picking up here that some of you guys are needing to stay off or stay away and maybe stay off if you're connecting with somebody physically here but stay away from somebody who is off in terms of their energy this is somebody that just is like off-putting i am picking up here with the energy work in the reverse this is somebody that takes in all sorts of moods and vibrations of other people around and they never cleanse they never dispel of them and they could rub off on you so your intuition could be trying to tell you this is a good time to do a chakra cleanse meditation this is a good time to do any type of reiki healing here as well well, I am picking up here your intuition could be trying to tell you to disconnect from somebody energetically here because they are making you feel some type of way and you are feeling the emotions or the moods that are not even of your own here so do keep this in mind the number 22 could be a relevance somebody that you were connecting to in 2022 could be a relevance I'm getting February April birthdays could be a relevance ages birth dates or birth years ending in a two or four could be a relevance as well as somebody may have a two or for your age difference with or that you've known for those amount of years could also be somebody that has a birthday in February or April as well that may relate to these messages we also have the seven of cups and the inner temple in the reverse so again this is just another message from spirit to you to make sure of what it is that you are intaking because I am picking up here it could be throwing you off when it comes to connecting with your inner most parts of yourself whether it's your mind your body your soul here i am picking up here there could be definitely some sort of food or substances or just like lifestyle that is throwing you off from feeling at peace or from feeling true contentment from feeling good emotionally mentally physically here it's okay to party it's okay to have fun for some of you guys you need to let loose you need to have fun there's too much stagnancy within the body so your intuition could be telling you to dance listen to music more your intuition could also be trying to tell you to listen to music in general because I am picking up here, there are particular messages from this past masculine and what spirit is trying to tell you when it comes to this past masculine within the songs that you are listening to. I am picking up here that for some of you guys here, your intuition could be trying to tell you that somebody isn't as devoted to their spirituality or their religion as they may appear to be here with the inner temple card coming out. I'm also picking up here that some of you guys definitely are needing to move because you are surrounded in an atmosphere where you can't connect with your inner self. There's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of disarray around you. And I am picking up here. This is a good time to look for a new place if the funds permit here with these combination of cards coming out. 
I also have this card right here, which says Stinky Cheese Psychedelic Creations Expressing Solar Plexus Chakra in Unconventional Ways, Someone or Something That's Sour. So your intuition is definitely trying to tell you that someone or something is sour around you. Maybe this is food. Some of you guys can need to be careful of spoiled food at this time. If your intuition is telling you not to eat something, then don't. I, or if your intuition is trying to tell you that every time you eat something, your body feels up, then stop eating whatever this is, drinking whatever this is. For some of you guys, somebody that could like cheese may be of relevance to this message or that could like to smoke. I am picking up here that for some of you guys here, your intuition could be trying to tell you to express yourself in unconventional ways. I'm also getting here, there's somebody around you that is really sour um, that your intuition is trying to tell you about. Also, be careful of who you take food and beverages from as well. So let's get into some characteristics and attributes cards. These characteristics characteristics or attributes could relate to you or whomever relates to these messages in which your intuition is trying to tell you about. So we do have a strong shoe game. For some of you guys, your intuition is definitely telling you to save up to buy some new shoes. In particular, I'm getting tennis shoes. I'm getting sports shoes here with this card coming out. I also have freckles coming out. Drug dealer in the reverse. For some of you guys, your intuition is trying to tell you not to get into this type of work here. For, for others of you guys, your intuition could be trying to tell you that somebody has disconnected from this type of work. I am picking up here for some of you guys, your intuition is trying to tell you that a masculine from the past is just wanting sex. Or I'm picking up here, your intuition could be trying to tell you that somebody is in this 18 plus type of industry here. I'm also getting fashion, modeling could be a relevance as well. July birthdays may be a relevance or July may be a relevance to some of these messages. But that is all I got for those of you guys who have chosen pile number one with this seashell right here, this clam looking muscle seashell. I hope you guys like this reading. I hope it brought you some form of insight, clarity, or guidance. If it did, I would greatly appreciate it if you were to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Comment now or come back and comment down below on whether the reading resonates with you or not. Click the bell notification to be notified as to when I upload videos like so. And for those of you guys who are wanting to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is send me an email. You can find my email within the description box here on this video. Once you send me an email and you read everything over, send me an email back and I will assign you a booked reading date and you will receive your reading anywhere from your booked reading date going into seven days after, not including weekends or holidays. So please do keep this in mind. And that is all I got for you, pile number one. I'm wishing you guys nothing but great love, great health, abundance, luck, success, prosperity, joy, and blessings to come. All right, so let's go ahead and get into pile number two. For those of you guys who have chosen pile number two with this seashell right here, let's go ahead and see what your intuition is trying to tell you. I am picking up your pile number two. You guys could be very, very funny. Your intuition could be trying to tell you that people find you comical, people find you hilarious, people could want to be around you just so that they could hear your jokes is what I'm picking up. I'm also picking up here your intuition could be trying to tell you that you're giving off like Aphrodite vibes. I am picking up here ocean sea vibes or just very loving vibes. I'm also picking up here. Some of you guys could have a very ethereal beauty to you as well. For those of you guys who have chosen pile number two. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot here to see what it is that your intuition is trying to tell you. We do have the queen of wands coming out, the 10 of swords and the page of wands coming out as well. So I am picking up here that your intuition is trying to tell you that a cycle is closing out a very painful cycle is closing out when it either comes to a masculine that has been very withdrawn in their connection with you or when it comes to your energetic levels being very low. I'm picking up here that a lot of you guys have been very stressed out mentally. I am picking up here you could have had a lot of negative or pessimistic thoughts running around within your mind space here to the point where you didn't feel up to it when it came to your creations, when it came to your passions, your desires, your ambitions. I am picking up here that that type of cycle is closing out here and a lot of you guys are going to be the queen of wands of coming you're going to be coming very magnetic in your appeal here you're going to be very goal oriented of coming is what i am picking up from spirit and it's once you cut off whatever type of mentality this is or whoever this is that is slowing you down
around when it comes to your creations here. If this is somebody in terms of like business, work, career, they could be younger than you. I am picking up here, even if they're older than you, they could act very immature. They could be very childish here. I am picking up here with the page of wands coming out. I'm also getting something in regards to somebody's like son here or child in general. I'm picking up here. Somebody could have been on, on the spectrum here or somebody's child could be on the spectrum here. Um, somebody could have been delayed in terms of some sort of development, whether it was mentally, physically here. And I'm picking up here that this is going to change. I am picking up here that Whoever's child this is, I am seeing here that you're going to see some sort of growth um, in regards to this energy that I am picking up here. So there's going to be some sort of improvement here, either emotionally, mentally, or physically when it comes to somebody's son here. That is something that I am picking up. Let's go ahead and get into some more cards here. Now, pile number one also had the peacock, and it also is coming out in pile number two. So you guys may want to go ahead and watch pile number one, as you guys may also relate to that pile. But I am picking up here with the peacock coming out in the reverse, that some of you guys are definitely disconnecting from somebody with great pride, or your intuition is trying to tell you that you need to disconnect from somebody with great pride. That is something that I was picking up within pile number one, somebody that was very arrogant, egotistical, very cocky. And I'm picking up here that whoever this is here, they could have acted this way because they could have felt less than when it came to their own ambitions, their own goals. In pile number one, I was picking up, they felt less than in terms of their beauty, in terms of their appearance. I am seeing here that for some of you guys, you could be the opposite of pile number one or opposite energy more so in which this pile, it's okay if you become a little bit more bragging in terms of what it is that you are talented and skilled in. I am picking up here that some of you guys don't hype your own selves up enough or you have people around you that are lackluster or that are dual in terms of supporting you. And I am picking up here, it is time for you to get away from people like so because you have something to share with the world, with your community, with your friends, with your family. And if they're not honoring that or if they're not hyping you up, then what kind of friend or colleague or networker is that? Like you should be working with people that make you feel good about who you are and what you came here to do, right? So I am picking up here with the parrot card. It says someone will gossip about all your secrets, but it came out in the reverse position here. So I am picking up here. Some of you guys could be getting away from somebody that is overly gossipy. Um, it's like they gossip to you. So that means that they're probably gossiping about you as well. I'm picking up here that you are getting away from people like so. I am picking up here with the parriage card coming out in the reverse that your intuition could also be trying to tell you that people are saying that you're humble at this time i am picking up here people could be saying that you're humble people could be saying that you are keeping more so to yourself because you don't want to be a part of gossip or maybe you are saying this is somebody else because you're trusting your in your intuition in not talking about others and this is something that spirit is commending you for i am picking up here that p names could be a relevance the streaming service peacock could be a relevance as well some of you guys can need to stay off that streaming service some of you guys can need to stay off electronic devices because i also have this card right here which says needing to stay offline needing to stay away from social media accounts that are always gloomy cloudy stormy weather staying inside scrolling playing games or playing video games so i am picking up here that some of you guys are needing to disconnect from people who are negative pessimistic online um people that are also unmotivated online as well what you consume in terms of content is also important when it comes to your own emotional mental and physical self because that's something that you are taking in frequently so i am picking up here some of you guys need to change who it is that you follow or some of you guys can need to unfollow particular people that don't inspire you here i am picking up here for some of you guys there could be somebody around you that is so glued to their electronic devices to the point where they don't notice you or they don't notice the nature around and i am picking up here that you're wondering you know why this person isn't putting effort into their connection with you well, they're not even putting effort into their own selves here by allowing themselves to have a breath of fresh air by walking outside. Like this person is somebody that likes to isolate and sit to themselves and, you know, be glued to something electronic to the point where they're not taking care of themselves. So be careful of somebody like so. I'm getting P names, R names could be a relevance. EA together within a name could be a relevance. I am picking up here that spirit could be also connecting with you through birds. Um, So look at the spirit totems of particular birds that you may be seeing, whether it's the parrot, whether it's the peacock here. 
Let's see what else we got going on. We also have the Get Grounded card, but it came out in the reverse. So I'm picking up here. Your intuition could be trying to tell you. I'm getting somebody here that has a child or a son. Maybe it's time for them to come out of timeout or it's time for them to come out of being grounded for something here. I'm picking up here that they could have learned their lesson or they're going to be learning their lesson if you do establish boundaries with them or if you do set up rules with them or if you do um, you know, ground them in some way or cut off access to something. Maybe you need to cut off their video games is what I'm picking up from spirit. That is something that I am getting here. I am picking up here that of course, you know, like don't, don't take away their cell phone if they needed to like be in contact with you at school or whatever the case may be. Don't do things like that. But I am picking up here. Definitely they could need their electronics devices taken away in given moments of the day, not all day, but I'm picking up here in given moments of the day. So with the Get Grounded card coming out, it says empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. So I am picking up here. Some of you guys are needing to ground yourself. This is also something that I picked up for pile number one. In pile number one, I was talking about connecting with somebody that's connected to everybody around them. And it could even be online for some of you guys, because I am picking up here somebody that doesn't socialize a lot outside. And even if you're connecting to people online, you could still absorb a lot of frequencies, a lot of energies here. So for some of you guys, there's people around you, whether it's online or people that connect more so to people online or in person that are attached to too many energetic cords to the point where you're also taking on that person's energetic cords that they're attached to. So I am picking up here, it's important for you to ground yourself plant your feet in the earthly realm and set the intention that your feet are the roots and you're being sent all the nutrients, all the water, all it is that you need to grow and to elevate in life in a solid way. Because I am picking up here, some of you guys are feeling so much the emotions or the moods of others to the point where you're not connecting with your own emotions or feelings here. For some of you guys, your intuition could be trying to tell you that there is a grandmother figure here connecting with you through the trees, through leaves that may pass you by, or through the carvings of the trees. Or spirit in general could have messages for you within the carvings of the trees. I am picking up here. So if you like intuitively feel drawn to a tree um, or if you intuitively think of somebody that's passed on when in nature, that's because they're connecting with you. I am picking up here as well. You could be smelling particular scents and it could be connected to this grandmother figure here. I'm also getting G names could be irrelevant. First, middle or last initials. For some of you guys here, I am picking up that you're definitely coming into more money here. I am picking up here that some of you guys could be worried about something, you know, financially here, or some of you guys may be trying to figure out, you know, if you are going to profit off something, I am picking up here, you will, especially for those of you guys who are more so considered to be a masculine energy that's listening to this. For some of you guys, you could be connected to a masculine heavily at this time, and they could be worried about finances. I do pick up here, there is going to be some sort of profitable gain to come in somebody that could wear glasses may be of relevance to that message we also have the perseverance card but it came out in the reverse so i am picking up here your intuition could be trying to tell you that you will persevere to the other side but you keep on telling yourself that you're not going to make it when it comes to something or that you are going to be in despair forever and you're not is what i'm picking up here for others of you guys here your intuition could be trying to tell you that you're not meant to persevere in something whether it's a connection or a place of work or something in relation to business because there's a new business venture that's better because there's a new place of work that's better or because there's a new friend a new partner that's better for you so if something is just not working don't make it try to work or fit together if it's not is what i'm picking up from spirit so it says, it seems you're on a massive journey right now, and this card has arrived to remind you that you will reach the other side. The mountain you're climbing is huge and formidable, but so is your ability to climb it. You don't need to enjoy it. You just need to tackle it. Complain if it makes the job easier. Blow off steam. You think mountain climbers get to the top of Everest on inspirational quotes? No way. They're grunting and crying and cursing like freaking pirates that just don't sell a lot of posters. So some of you guys are going to quit something before you even see the results to it. So keep on going. I am picking up here. It's like this, the symbology here, the metaphor of climbing up a mountain. You're not going to get to that top unless you keep on going, right? So there's something that you could be trying to market, sell 
dollar produced here and you're not going to see the benefits unless you keep on going is what i'm picking up from spirit some of you guys could be rock climbers some of you guys could be called to go on a hike this is your cue to do so don't you know go on an insane one um but i am picking up here if you want to bring you know a friend or in general you guys shouldn't be hiking alone especially if you're a feminine listening to this i am picking up here that washington could be a relevance mexico could be a relevance here as well but that is what i am seeing there k-pop stands could be a relevance here we also have the pleasure card coming out here um i am picking up that for some of you guys here somebody feels like their life is just dull because they don't have you in it i am picking up here you have brought a lot of pleasure to somebody here whether it's intimately here or whether it's just through your good vibrations and i am picking up here that somebody can't feed off of your pleasurable energy anymore and i am picking up here for others of you guys you are coming back into your own pleasures of life instead of trying to please others all the time here for some of you guys your intuition could be trying to tell you to connect with your own sacral chakra on your own end without intermixing another person's energy um, or without connecting with somebody physically, somebody else physically in that way, if that makes sense. I am getting care of the number 40 could be a relevance, the age 40 it could be a relevance, April could be a relevance, ages ending in a four could be a relevance, as well as somebody you may have a four year age difference with or that you've known for four years. I also have the divine orchestration card coming out, helpers in the subtle realm. So your intuition is trying to tell you that you got a whole divine orchestration here watching you from the above realms and they're sending you helpers so there's helpers spiritually around you that you can't even see with your own eyes here some of you guys can because you're mediums you're psychics here and for others of you guys you don't see them but they're there and i am picking up here actually these people in the above realms here of the higher above realms i am picking up here that they're sending you people in the physical in the form of them in the physical to help you build and to elevate and grow in life i am picking up here your intuition could be trying to tell you to build Build something whether it's a little space for yourself or to finish a project of some sort with a group of people here for some of you guys here your intuition is trying to tell you to collaborate to network with other people around you some of you guys may have a child that's around the age of three i am picking up here that for some of you guys here Age is ending in a three could be irrelevant. Somebody may have a three year age difference with or that you've known for three years. I'm getting something about construction, bricks, or the walls to something could be of relevance here. Posters, putting walls on a poster, or maybe some of you guys need to market yourselves in town by putting up posters to something. I don't know if you guys are looking for something that's lost. Maybe you need to put up a poster for it as well, but that is what I am seeing there. I also have the cassette player. Some of you guys could like to listen to Cassie. I am picking up here in the name Cassie. Cassandra could be a relevance here. With the cassette card coming out, Spirit is wanting you to stop out dated ways of thinking being and doing stop telling yourself the same negative or pessimistic shit is what i'm picking up here excuse my french but i am picking that up i am picking up here stay away from people that tell you the same old same old people that are always in the same vibration that is negative that is you know low vibing they're never wanting to work on themselves and they're always complaining about things that they could actually fix things that they could actually change here some of you guys your intuition is trying to tell you that you need to listen to affirmations or guided meditations on repeat here in order to manifest is what i am picking up i'm also getting c names could be irrelevance you guys p names for sure first middle or last initials let's get into some characteristics and attributes cards these characteristics or attributes could either be in regards to you or whomever it is that may relate to these messages in which your intuition is trying to tell you about so I do have the YouTuber card coming out. For some of you guys here, I'm picking up your intuition is trying to tell you that you are supposed to be in the film or the media industry here. Or you're supposed to be working online. For some of you guys, your intuition could be trying to tell you about somebody that works on like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be. For some of you guys, your intuition could be trying to tell you to plan a live or plan something online here with the event planner card coming out in the reverse. For some of you guys here, your intuition could be trying to tell you that you may not need to include somebody in your event planning here or i'm picking up here that's your intuition could be trying to tell you that somebody is purposely not trying to include you on some sort of event here which is ugly right we also have the photographer card coming out for some of you guys your intuition which is also something that i picked up with bond number one could be trying to tell you that somebody is thinking 18 plus things when looking at your pictures or what i also picked up from bond number one is that your intuition is trying to tell you that you are meant to be a photographer 
you're meant to take pictures or videos for the world to see or for your community to see here. Some of you guys may need to put up a manifestation board. Some of you guys may need to put up certain inspirational posters or pictures on your wall here to, to look at every single day is what I'm picking up from Spirit. We also have Fit Athletic built here. I am picking up here. Your intuition could be trying to tell you to work out to work on your fitness here or there could be somebody around you that is working out um that is trying to get you to notice them is what i am picking up and we also have snake bite piercings i'm getting here that scorpio placements could be irrelevant leo placements aries sagittarius placements here i am picking up here somebody that could like to bite their lips could be irrelevant pet snakes could be irrelevant or snake tattoos if it's not somebody with snake bite piercings so i think that is it for those of you guys who have chosen pile number two with this seashell right here, if you like this reading, I would greatly appreciate it if you were to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. Once I hit 900 subscribers, I am going to be doing a personal reading giveaway. Comment now or come back and comment down below on whether this reading resonates with you or not. Click the bell notification to be notified as to when I upload videos like so. For those of you guys who are wanting to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is send me an email. You can find my email within the description box here on my video. And once you send me an email and read everything over, send me an email back on what it is that you would like to book. And I will assign you a booked reading date. You will receive your reading anywhere from your booked reading date going into seven days after, not including weekends or holidays. So please do keep this in mind. And that is all I got for you, pile number two. I'm wishing you guys nothing but great love. Great health, abundance, luck, success, prosperity, joy, and blessings to come. Bye, All right, let's get into it. For those of you guys who have chosen pile number three with this intricate seashell right here, let's see what it is that your intuition is trying to tell you. So I am picking up here. Your intuition could be trying to tell you that most definitely somebody is trying to get into communication with you. For some of you guys, your intuition is trying to tell you to work on your throat chakra. This is a good time to cut down on smoking, to drink some warm tea is what I'm picking up as well. I am picking up here that there's something about the vocals coming out i'm also seeing here with the seashell that you guys have chosen that there could be more to a situation that has yet to be unraveled or a situation may be more complex than you may know and i am picking up here there could be some more communication or information to come in on whatever situation this may be for you i know that's more so a generic channeled message here but let's go ahead and get into the tarot let's see what else it is that your intuition is trying to tell you i I am picking up here your intuition is trying to tell you that you guys most definitely are going to be growing and expanding when it comes to networking here i am picking up here that some of you guys are going to become your own boss or you're going to be working together with those who are bosses who are leaders here i do see a lot of growth and expansion especially globally with the world's card coming out and the three of pentacles i am seeing here that for some of you guys your intuition could be trying to tell you that this is a good time to invest into marketing so social media marketing for those of you guys who may work online or who may have businesses for others of you guys there's going to be brands or other businesses reaching out to you because they're going to want to work together with you they're going to want your face to be on the cover of something um, they're going to want you to promote or market their brand their services their products whatever the case may be i am picking up here your intuition could be trying to tell you to wear the color red here or orange or yellow very vibrant colors here to stand out in order to promote more growth in terms of something that you may be doing in the community or in terms of your stability your security i am picking up here wearing those colors are going to promote more material wealth here for you guys i am seeing here that your intuition is trying to tell you that there could be an aries a taurus a sagittarius aquarius leo or scorpio that is wanting to grow together with you work together with you here i'm also picking up here your intuition could be trying to tell you that there's a manager a boss a supervisor or somebody that you work with in terms of business work or career or this could even be somebody that you have as an online teacher whomever this is they're very tyrannical or they're very overruling i'm picking up here that they could be trying to regulate or control how much 
status you get, how much you elevate, how much money you make here. I'm picking up here. Somebody is wanting to have total control over how people see you, how people view you, um, how people work together with you here. And that's just not how it's going to go is what I'm picking up here. Either way, you're still going to be your own here with the world card coming out. I am seeing here that wearing the color purple at this time is going to enhance your third eye as well. I'm getting something about like gymnastics. I don't know what it's called when you have like the little batons, um, but I'm getting something about batons coming up here. I'm picking up here maybe somebody that is in the military or military related fields. Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus placements could be irrelevant. Age is ending in a three could be irrelevant. Somebody you may have a three year age difference with or that you've known for three years. Some of you guys, your intuition is trying to tell you that your art, I'm getting some here that likes to draw paint. Um, I'm getting here somebody that models or somebody that is a designer here. Your intuition is trying to tell you that you are going to be known on a global scale with these combination of cards coming out let's go ahead and get into some more cards here we have the carriage card but it wanted to come out in the reverse so it says opportunity or windfall i feel like this is going to be coming your way but there are people around you that are trying to stop your opportunities or windfall by trying to control you in some sort of sense or way or by trying to tie you down strictly to them or strictly to working with them so i am picking up here to be wary of that it says feeling tied down or frustrated here so your intuition could be trying to tell you that at times you need to work solo so you don't feel tied down and at other times you're needing to network so that you don't feel like you have to do everything on your own end if that makes sense so having a balance is of importance here i'm getting here something about carrots or egg egg yolks or i'm picking up here something in relation to like actual eggs i don't know maybe some of you guys are becoming more yolky or becoming more fit here i am picking up here that your fitness regimens or routines or your health regimens or routines are going to be showing either by taurus season of this year or by sagittarius season or whenever those seasons are next from when you are listening to this even aries season we also have astrology study the stars or look to the sky for answers classy drinks cosmopolitan fashion modeling new york vegas so i'm picking up here your intuition could be trying to tell you that you are meant to be an astrologer here some of you guys your intuition is trying to tell you to look into your astrological birth chart to see what's happening in the sky in relation to your birth transits because there could be something significant going on that shows that there's going to be some sort of elevation for you in terms of work or career networking here some of you guys are meant to model some of you guys are meant to travel to new york to vegas here um or you're meant to do something in relation to fashion in those in those areas is what i'm picking up from spirit i also am picking up here that your intuition could be trying to tell you to wear certain scents in order to repel certain energies so it says keep the mosquitoes away literally or figuratively citrus scented things lemons oranges tangerines mediterranean coast so i am picking up here if you're traveling upcoming here wear some mosquito repellent here for some of you guys you need to wear certain essential oils that contain metaphysical properties of protection because some of you guys have pests or just annoying people around you that don't want to see you do good they, they don't want to see you grow they don't want to see you expand here and i am picking up here if you were to wear protective essential oils you're going to ward off those types of energies more we also have the drink tea card coming out and the deep breathing card coming out and i did mention paying attention to the throat shocker earlier so some of you guys definitely need to drink some tea i am picking up here your intuition could be trying to tell you that there's a lot of people that are spreading some tea in regards to you or they think they know the tea in regards to you i am picking up here with the deep breathing card coming out there could be a lot of people that are commenting on your body or your physical appearance at this time especially for those of you guys that may model or that may work with certain brands here for others of you guys here i'm picking up that your intuition is trying to tell you something in regards to the lung area the chest area i'm picking up your practicing um, breath work is going to be of your benefit meditations in which you have to breathe in and breathe out is going to help your anxiety at this time teas that help your anxiety or teas that help you calm down are going to be of your benefit at this time some of you guys are meant to drink tea more than coffee at this time is what i am picking up from spirit i'm also getting here the number 19 and 21 those dates those numbers could be a relevance to you or somebody around you that may factor into these messages ages birth dates or birth years ending in a two one three 
nine or zero could be a relevance as well as somebody who have a two, one, three, or nine or 19 or 21 year age difference with, or somebody that you could have known around those ages could be a relevance here. February, January, March, September, and also October birthdays could be of relevance. We also have the stabbed in the back card coming out. So it says heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. I am picking up here that some of you guys could be feeling like a very heavy energy within your chest. And it could be because you're picking up on somebody actively backstabbing you, unfortunately, or somebody um, throwing you under the bus or somebody purposely trying to throw daggers at you. I'm also getting sword tattoos could be a relevance here as well. It's, yeah, there's definitely something about swords coming out. For some of you guys, you need to stand up for yourself by, you know, being cutthroat with people, by cutting people off, blocking people here. I am picking up here with the stabbed in the back card coming out that you guys need to get away from people that are backstabbing, that one minute you tell them something, the next minute they're telling this person and then all of a sudden it's online somewhere i'm getting something like that coming up here with the stabbed in the back card coming out i am picking up here that there could be somebody around you that is feeling back pain because they've stabbed you or you could be feeling back pain because they because um oh sorry I, I worded that weird they could be feeling back pain because they've stabbed you in the back or you could be feeling this way because someone has stabbed you so it could go either or way i am picking up here some of you guys need to be wary of you know somebody that is violent get away from people like so if you need to call a family member call a friend go to services within your town within your city to get away from whoever this may be with the warrior woman card coming out, it says, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? So I'm picking up here. Some of you guys are meant to be communicators, speakers online, singers here, writers. I'm picking up here. Some of you guys aren't supposed to be so afraid of the power of your voice. You're meant to vocalize yourself here. I'm also getting here something about a haircut, something about hair. There could be something about somebody who does hair or a haircut or a hairstylist that could be irrelevant to these messages. We also have the inspiration card, but it came out in the reverse. So I am picking up here that you guys need to stay away from those who are unmotivating, those who are the opposite of inspirational. Not that every day, every second, everyone's going to be like all dandy and hyped up and wanting to be inspirational. But I am picking up here that there's a lot of people around you that are negative, pessimistic here. There's a lot of people around you that aren't your cup of tea when it comes to what inspires you that you can need to disconnect from here. For some of you guys here, there could be somebody around you that feeds themselves negativity to the point where they psych themselves out and they run with it. They run with, you know, their delusions and they go and they talk to other people about their delusions that they may have formed in regards to you. And I am picking up here, you can need to disconnect yourself from somebody like so. For some of you guys, you need a speaker, you need a microphone for something. Here's what I'm picking up as well. So it says, there's a voice of inspiration within me. Right now, it's only a whisper, but the more I listen, the louder it will get. Soon it will be a flawless speech voiced by James Earl Jones through a megaphone with lots of applause. So I'm picking up here the name James Earl or Jones could literally be of relevance. Definitely somebody who wears glasses could be of relevance. Somebody with blonde hair or somebody that's tan to darken skin tone can be of relevance. I'm also getting very pale skin, blue eye shadow or blue eyes could be of relevance. I'm also picking up here dark Black or brown hair could be a relevance. Curly hair may be a relevance. Somebody who bleached, bleaches their hair could be a relevance. For some of you guys, I am picking up here. You need to stay away from people that don't know how to use an inside voice. People that always like to yell up in your ear. People that are obnoxious is what I am picking up here. Let's see what else. I'm also getting, I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause. I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm picking up here, there could be somebody around you that lives for attention. They live for drama. They don't live to inspire people. They live to gain clout. They live to gain popularity. They don't do something authentically is what I'm picking up from spirit. We also have, your luck is going to change, save wisely, and love will knock at your door. Don't regret it. So I am picking up here that for some of you guys here, your love life is going to change. I'm picking up here. Your intuition could be trying to tell you that you're going to meet the one. Um, I'm getting here Aquarius placements, Sagittarius placements, or seasons could be of relevance. For some of you guys, your intuition could be trying to tell you that somebody around you is going to be getting married or engaged, or somebody is already married or engaged here, or went behind your back and got married or engaged to someone else. I am picking up here that there could be something about Cupid, or I'm getting Renaissance 
era could be a relevance or renaissance babies could be a relevance or the paintings the symbology um or angels angelic energy could be a relevance here for some of you guys i'm um, getting here your intuition can be trying to tell you that you or somebody around you is pregnant or is gonna get pregnant soon or gonna get pregnant right after they get married here or somebody may have gotten married because they're pregnant is what i am picking up i am picking up here that for some of you guys you may end up marrying somebody or getting to know somebody in love that may live in your community and live in your neighborhood for real is what i'm picking up here something like that is is coming up from spirit we also have the judgment card coming out so i feel like you are making a judgment call on what doesn't bring you peace you're making a judgment call on what doesn't align with your morals your standards here for some of you guys here i'm picking up that you could be a part of the lgbtqia you're setting up to people who are prejudice, races, you are standing up to those that are unjust in terms of sexuality, in terms of morals, politics, things of this nature here. For some of you guys, a judgment card is coming up because you're literally going to get married or engaged upcoming here. Libra season or Libra placements could be of relevance here. I'm picking up here. Your intuition could also be trying to tell you that somebody's under some sort of legal or financial judgment at this time where somebody's going to get served with something legally or financially. Let's go ahead and get into some characteristics and attributes cards. These characteristics or attributes could either be in regards to you or whomever is around you that may correlate to these messages in regards to your intuition. So I do have curly hair coming out. Hooded eyes, smaller lids, security guards, and firefighters. I'm picking up here that for some of you guys, you are needing to secure what's yours. For some of you guys here, there could be something about a security guard, somebody that could be a security guard at a dispensary could be a relevance here. For some of you guys, somebody that could like to smoke um, could be a relevance. Fire placements could be a relevance. Somebody that likes to play with fire or somebody that likes to speak words of fire, like always trying to get into arguments or fights could be a relevance in regards to these messages. Some of you guys need to protect yourself from somebody like so. That could be what your intuition is trying to tell you. J names could be irrelevance. D names, T names, F names could be irrelevance here. W names, Y names. Some of you guys could also be asking like why somebody did something. Somebody did something to gain clout, status, or to gain money is what I'm picking up. They went against you because of so. So that is all I got for you for those of you guys who have chosen this seashell right here. If you like this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you were to give this a thumbs up, pal number three. Comment now or come back and comment down below on whether this reading resonates with you or not. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Once I reach 900 subscribers, I am going to be doing a personal reading giveaway. And also click the bell notification to be notified as to when I upload videos like so. And for those of you guys who are wanting to book a personal reading with me, all you have to do is send me an email. Once you send me an email, I will send you my services, prices, policies, and disclaimers for your review. Once you read that all over, send me an email back on what it is that you would like to book, and I will assign you a booked reading date, and you will receive your reading anywhere from your booked reading date going into seven days after, not including weekends or holidays. So do you keep this in mind. And that is all I got for you guys. I wish you guys nothing but great love, great health, abundance, luck, success, prosperity, joy, and blessings to come. Bye, guys.